Good morning, it's moving day. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I sold my Keurig to my neighbor because I'm getting a bigger one. So I ordered Starbucks coffee, but I still put it in a bug just to feel like it was homey one more time here. I even lit a candle. Yes, I'm crazy. But yesterday I did a lot of prepping. I feel really, really good. Um, basically just kind of put everything in piles. I took my blankets off obviously this morning. Cleared out these drawers, um, took things from like on top of my closet. I'm using Roadway Moving and they are packing for me. It's a great feature that they offer. So I'm doing that. So like I didn't have to completely, but I basically cleaned out everything like under there. So everything that I'm bringing is something I would want. Like I already cleaned out this top drawer. Like I have a junk drawer over here that I cleaned out already. Um, you know, washed all of my dishes, put them back so that when they pack everything, I know everything's up here. And yeah, the last thing I really have to do is clean out my fridge and freezer. And I'm probably going to do that while they're here packing. It's so crazy moving today. Oh yeah, my bathroom. No more over the toilet storage because it's not going to fit. I basically like cleaned out this thing. I don't know. I just wanted to make it like a little easier for them. I just couldn't help myself and I cleaned out my shower So the only things I'm bringing are right there Yeah, I woke up a little extra early so I could have a nice little morning to myself as I always do <laughs> my Christmas tree and my suitcases oh, Let the moving begin All right, here is the moving day OOTD I'm wearing just this like black set from Lululemon and then this parallel apparel jacket It's kind of chilly in here and it's kind of chilly outside um, and then I'm just wearing some set active socks and these Nike sneakers. I'm drinking another cup of coffee. Roadway moving just called me. He's so nice. He was like, it's an exciting day. I was like, honestly, that's the energy I need. I'm literally so excited. I'm so nervous just because it's like a new place that I'm living and I'm just kind of like here doing this. But I have so much help and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm grateful for all the memories here at this apartment and it's literally gonna look so similar at my new apartment because I'm bringing all this with me which makes me so happy so all right the movers are coming Whoever gets this apartment next, I hope I christened it for you and I gave it good vibes because I was the first person to live in this unit actually. So it's a little extra special in that regard, but yeah, it's all empty. I'm about to head over to the next place. They're taking a lunch break as they should and I'm gonna meet them all there in about 30 minutes, but it's so weird seeing it empty in here. I can't believe it's all empty. I am so grateful for this space. Thank you to this space. I've had so many good memories in here. All of my firsts in New York were here. And I'm about to go into a new chapter. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic and I'm not moving out of New York, but this place is really special to me and it's gonna be really hard to close the door. It's how it was for me when I was leaving Georgia too. I hope forever cherish this place and I'm so excited for the next one. Goodbye. I'll see ya. <laughs> I'll see you in my memories. We're in the new apartment! The 
movers just left. I didn't really vlog while we were moving in. It was very chaotic. I was like unboxing while they were bringing stuff in. I can't believe it. We started at 9 a.m., 3 p.m. They already left. Like I thought we'd be, they'd be still bringing stuff until six. They're so fast, so amazing. I'm so grateful for them. Um, it totally feels so homely in here because all my stuff's in it. Obviously, um, there's still stuff everywhere, but we've got the couch, got my plant back there. The mirror in this corner seriously brightens the space up so much. I'm so happy. And my OOTDs will be nice and well lit, which is exciting. I'm actually getting a new TV console, just like a little bit of a bigger one because this is a bigger space. I'm like already thinking like, where will my Christmas tree go? <laughs> um, and then over here, I'm gonna move this table. These boxes are here, but the table's gonna come out over here, it's definitely a little crammed and Sierra warned me, but I wanted to have a lower table because I like to work like that. Like, I'm excited about those, but I wanted a lower table option. That painting over there is gonna go on this wall, which I think will be nice to tie in the blue black spat, blue back splash. I have lots of kitchen things to unbox and then trying to figure out where to put this. I mean, this definitely blends in here, but I'm also like, that's kind of annoying. Um, here is basically my storage room at the moment. I am going to, I ordered two clothing rods. They're going to go across, so I'm going to hang stuff up there. Might even get a shoe rack underneath. This will be bags and shoes as well. A vanity is going here. Gosh, this is very, um, intimidating. And then I have all these shelves, but they're not very deep, so I can't like store things. And then over here, I decided to put this mirror here, which I'm really excited about for OOTDs too. The things we think about because, I don't know, I like how it's like a plain wall behind me. And the lighting's not bad, but yeah, gonna have to fill up all these shelves one day at a time. Uh, oh, I didn't even show you guys <laughs> the bedroom, duh. It, is so amazing in here. I moved my dresser in here because it could fit in here now. So I'll have all of my clothes in here, which will be lovely. Chair, I'm gonna put in this corner. Gonna hang up the lanterns. I have a task rabbit coming tomorrow. That'll go above. Trying to figure out where the plant's gonna go. Um, I have more like baskets and stuff that I might just put on either side of this. And then there's not as many like rods in here. So I'm gonna either have to like fold more. I don't know. Got to figure this out. I also like only ate a breakfast sandwich this morning and like had some pita chips with hummus. I'm hungry, so I'm like, should I explore my new neighborhood and get myself food? And I've had like multiple friends that offered to come help me right now, but honestly, I'm like, I just need a minute alone. But I'm like so grateful for everyone offering to come help. I don't know what to do. This is me, I'm like, I want help, but I don't wanna ask for help. And then when people offer, I'm like, no, I'm fine. It's okay, I can do it. I just think I need like a couple hours to myself to like listen to podcasts and unpack. Like it's very therapeutic for me, honestly. Oh, I'm just so happy and I'm gonna get my TV hung up tomorrow as well. So, very pumped. All right, I am gonna go for a walk and just get either some food or just like go outside for a second. I've like been inside all day. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get like we're gonna see what I get. I don't really know. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna do something, and then I'll come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just went and got really random stuff. I'm like not hungry right now. I think it's like, not adrenaline, but like, I don't know. I'm just like not. I was also like cold out there. I got a water because the water's not filtered here and I don't have my Brita yet. I'm like into cantaloupe right now. And then I got myself some pesto pasta salad. I, I can't explain this one, you guys. I was craving celery. I was just like craving some freshness. And then I also went depressed and got a juice. So, oh, and a ginger shot. I'm not ready to take it at this moment, but first ginger shot in the new apartment's gonna hit diff. I'm glad I went outside for a second. I was feeling really tired. I like told my friend Seb, I was like, don't worry about coming right now. I'm honestly like, just not in the mood to socialize or unpack really. But now I'm feeling like a little bit refreshed. I wanna light a candle. I'm so dramatic, but I would just love to light a candle in here. I haven't lit one yet. I also just got an email that they're literally turning off the air conditioning in the building for this whole weekend. My luck, right? But it's starting to get a little cold outside, so thank God, but I just thought that was funny. Anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge and let's, let's. I wanna get my, curtain, my shower curtain up. I wanna make my bed. I'm gonna do the essentials and then we'll go from there. So Kelly got me this diptyque base candle 
and it smells so good. I've had it before. I also love that it's black because you know when it gets black around the rim, which is not good. You're supposed to cut your wicks, but it's so annoying. So when it's an all black candle, you can't see it. I was like, thank you, Kelly. The first candle lit in this apartment. How crazy it's happening. It's like a Christmas tree lighting. <laughs> I am literally so dramatic today and that's okay. Ha. Currently setting up my new coffee maker. I wanted a little bit of a bigger one that held more water. And this Cuisinart one actually had great reviews. And it takes K-Cups. It's not like a Keurig brand, but I also loved the chrome. I thought it went really well in the apartment. And again, it just had really great reviews. It has different sizes too, so I'm doing the whole situation. It also has a water filter in the reservoir, which I think is cool. So right now I'm doing like the cleanse through. But yeah. Slowly but surely, Ryan's on his way over now from work. He's gonna sleep over tonight. And yeah, Sierra warned me. She was like, the table's gonna be close to the couch. <sighs> but I want the table. It doesn't look that bad, right? <laughs> like I know it's a little cluttered. I don't know. It's staying for now. I like the low table, but yeah, that's kind of the update here. Ryan's here. What's up? Love the new place. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, last time he saw it, it was completely empty. I like how the, oh my gosh, the pretty sky. Oh, Love wow. it. I know. We're gonna go grab some dinner. I really want a beer right now, cause beer never broke my heart. And then, <laughs> look at you. Ryan in the city. <laughs> And then we're gonna come back and do things. That sounded weird. Unpack things. First sleep in the new apartment. Done. Ryan slept over, he's in the shower. I definitely am getting blackout curtains, but it is kinda nice to wake up and it's light out. It's easier to get up. Oof, but I wanna make a coffee. First coffee with my new Keurig. I'm so dramatic. How many times have I said that in this vlog? All right. Brew, I think. Oh boy. This is nice, it comes out right away. The other Keurig I had, it like took a minute because you filled it up every time and I had to heat up. It's already going. Christening the bar. Sitting here watching you cook, this is fun. Mm -hmm. Ryan's gonna truly christen the kitchen by doing a Friday egg flip in my new apartment. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> it's stressing me out how messy it is in here, like hardcore, but I know it's just because I haven't unpacked everything. But it's stressing me out, you guys. <laughs> but my mom, update, my mom is able, I don't even think I updated well, I started vlogging yesterday, but Hurricane Ian was supposed to directly hit Tampa. We were really scared. They hurricane proofed the house as much as they could. And we got really, really, really lucky um, and really fortunate. And the hurricane did minimal damage to our house. My family was safe. Um, but my mom was originally going to come on Wednesday night to like be here yesterday. But honestly... I did it all myself, it was so fine. It was very hectic anyways. But my mom, um, they like, she had already booked a flight. So they rebooked her on a flight for today to land at like 7 p.m. tonight. And she was like, well, it's already booked, like let me come. And I really would just love her to come and see it and everything. And she wants to come to New York in the fall. So not that we're gonna be doing many fun things, but it would be nice to have her be like, oh, you should put this here. You know, just like mom thinks. I'm very grateful. So, um, yeah, that's the plan for today. TaskRabbit's coming in a couple hours. I have many jobs for him, poor guy. But I love TaskRabbit. You, like, pay them by the hour and you can pick them. They stop the reviews and everything. And he's really good at hanging up things, apparently. So, really excited about that. So, Ryan makes sure on his TikTok Friday egg flips, go follow, to to like make sure the covers are like the flip in action. And this one is so funny. Wait, can I see your phone? It's not moving on my end. I like that one and then this one you can see like an egg out of the corner falling <laughs> into a pool. It's so funny, those two eggs going at once. All the crazy flips you do. You're crazy. 
But yeah, he morning, just morning. welcome to Friday egg flips. He just christened. Uh, today we are christening Danielle's kitchen. She had a request to have an egg flip um, in her new apartment, so here we are. So yeah. Woo! Woo! Just made myself some breakfast. <laughs> I'm getting used to like where everything is in the apartment, but I'm going to enjoy. I'm listening to a match made in Manhattan, obviously. Okay, I'm like trying to clear out this room because I just got from Wayfair these two closet rods. They extend, there's like two in there that are gonna hang up and like two, my dad's literally sending me articles like how far away to hang each closet rod. I was like, I love you, God bless you. Um, so I'll have two here, which I'm really excited about. So this is gonna be a lot of clothing, um, <laughs> but Roadway was like, do you want us to keep all the clothes in the boxes or what? And the boxes were so big and I like literally, I break down boxes but I really hate it. Like I just don't, I, if I can do less than I have to. So I was like, just leave the clothes. So they left them and now I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> the guy that's coming to help me is going to have to work right here and I'm gonna have to move these clothes and I fully should have w done that when Ryan was here because this is gonna be interesting. I, I, at least they're all in this box. I'm gonna, I could try and drag. If not, I'll just uh, take piles of clothes. So that's one thing. And then I'm gonna have him hang this up here. I guess like center with the wall. I'm so bad at this stuff. I'm like so bad at adulting. I like think I'm this independent girly and then I move and everything just goes to waste. I'm like, what is wrong with me? But you know, it's just not my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, sorry. Hopefully you guys can manage that. Yeah, that'll go there, which again, I just think will look so good. It'll just tie everything in. I'm like, I was wondering if I need something for above there, but I feel like it's kind of busy over here already, so maybe not. Um, and then what else? Oh, he's gonna hang up my TV, which will be great. Um, I need to, I guess, centered with the wall. That would make sense, and then my new console will go there. So that's that, and then what else is he hanging? And then in my bedroom, um, I'm gonna hang the art piece or whatever this piece, it's from Crate and Barrel, I've had it above my bed before, right there. And then my Ikea Torah Red lanterns that I love so much. A lot of people ask me, so they're from Ikea, and then these rope wires are from Amazon. I just looked them up because the lanterns don't come with anything. It's insane. So these are, are rope wires and then they have a light bulb at the end of them. Or like a place for a light bulb. And then I got the Amazon LED light ones. My Amazon shop is always linked down below. I have tons of stuff there that I've purchased. Um, and then I actually have NYC steamers coming on Monday to clean my headboard because I realized it's gotten a little dirty and that's disgusting because I put my head right there. So they're amazing. They cleaned my couch one time. You guys probably saw it. it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's all that will be hung up today. I also have a curtain rod and I bought blackout curtains because these, I'm like so confused. Me and Sierra, my interior designer, cannot figure out what these are. Like they're curtain tracks, but there's all kinds of different ones. And the owner like won't get back to me on <laughs> what exactly they are. So, and I really don't want to pay for expensive window treatments, so I'm just, I bought like a curtain rod, and I, I don't know. These like need to go, I'm fully aware, but I'm just, I need something for now. Not that these are, these are lovely, but on the bottoms they're kind of dirty, it's, I'm just trying not to look at them. Um, so I'm getting like a curtain rod with blackout curtains, and that'll come soon, but I don't, my curtain rod's not here yet, so he can't hang that up today. Um, yeah, lots of suitcases don't have a storage unit here at this apartment, so I need to figure out how to store all these. I have like room up there and then I also have room above here which is nice because I used to put all my towels and linens but I have this amazing 
organization situation like oh my gosh this is so lovely so I think I'm gonna try and pack my suitcases up there I don't know where else they would go because I am trying to avoid and my Christmas tree I'm trying to avoid I will avoid making this a storage room this is not a storage room this will be my closet slash glam room <laughs> she believes she could so she did. I ended up just taking things in piles. I'm like disgusted at how much clothing this is, but I, I go through my clothes all the time. And these are the keepers, so. Yeah, hopefully that will all fit in here. But I also have my other closet, but all those rods are taken, but I feel like some of those things I'll, I don't know, I have to decide like what's in here versus what's in my bedroom closet. I feel like my bedroom closet, I wanna be like sweatsuits and like comfy stuff and like t-shirts, crop tops and like jeans. And then in here more like stylish stuff. I really hope these two kill it for me and then maybe I could put something down here with more drawers I don't know then I also have these but I also have lots of shoes that are gonna go here oh boy we are just going to see how this goes uh, feeling so defeated <laughs> my task rabbit got here and the doorman called up to me and said that they wouldn't let the task rabbit up because so that I like had to call my super and he was just like this should have been communicated to you but we don't allow attached rabbits or like, you know, you have to have a COI. If you guys are familiar with COI, basically the person has to have insurance. Um, or not the person, but like the, it's like a COI form. I don't know, whatever. They said they don't allow attached rabbits. And I was like, oh my God, I feel so bad. The guy was downstairs, so I still paid him everything. Cause I, cause he like came all the way here. I feel so bad. And, but now I'm like, okay, well, what do I do? So, but the super said that he does like a lot of stuff for people in the building and he'll come at some point, hopefully today, and take a look. And ideally, he would help me hang up the rods today because my organizer girlies are coming tomorrow and I told them the rods would be hung up by then. So I don't need everything hung up today. I was just, I love TaskRabbit so much and they're so amazing and I'm just bummed. But if he can be my guy, I'm so happy to pay him and help me. I just feel so awkward. Like Kelly just FaceTimed me and I was like, you caught me at a bad time. I'm like, are my super and I beefing? Like, I feel so bad. Like, I feel like I started off on a terrible note, but I'm overthinking it for sure. It's the people pleaser in me, but I just like feel bad. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, sorry, but also everything, can you come today, please, and help me? And he said he can stop by sometime today. So anyways, now I'm like, okay, what should I do? Should I do my bathroom? Like. Ugh, I don't know. There's just so much. I'm like stressed. Kelly was like, I'm getting weird energy from you. I was like, because there's just so much and I don't know what to do. Like, I just love it. It's a lot later now, um, but sweet Kelly sent me these beautiful, beautiful flowers as a little homecom homecoming, whatever, like housewarming flowers, which is just so sweet. She's just been giving, I'm literally wearing slippers she got me for my birthday. Seriously, so kind. I was going to get myself some flowers today for my new apartment, so I'm glad I'm very thankful that she sent some, so thank you, Kelly. Okay, I unpacked more of my bathroom. I'm glad I brought this storage cart thing in. Super helpful. I just put a ton of stuff there. Right now, I have a ton of things under, but ideally, I want to get, like, some drawers or, like, I don't know, something else. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment them below. And then, I love how minimal this is, but I'm going to have to get, like, more storage. And then, I put a ton of my products in there. So, I'm really happy I have this because I had this at my last apartment. It was really, really nice. I have, like, clips in my hair. Um... Need to buy a shower caddy that I'm going to put on that side because I don't like to see the products. But yeah, looks pretty good in here. Pretty happy about that. Trying to decide what to do next. Hello. So I just got off Instagram Live. Or not just, like 30 minutes ago. I was on Instagram Live for a while. So go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carroll and I... I reveal things on there and just chat and you guys hear stuff before other people do so definitely go follow me on Instagram and Watch out for when I'm live. It's a good time Um, I wanted to tidy up someone my mom's on her way. Ah, it's getting it's late now It's 9 15 her flight got delayed. I didn't realize um, but she's almost here and I was like it is a mess in here But I want it to be a okay, uh, an organized mess so I Cleaned up my bedroom a little bit. I changed my sheets. I made my bed and just tidy it up because I know she's going to want to put her suitcase somewhere. Put all these boxes over here. And then what else did I do? I guess nothing much. I'd like kind of made, whatever. A little cleaner. You know, this I need help someone help 
getting me down to these basement. I just got off Instagram Live, like I was saying, and something here is definitely feeling off, and like I know it's tight, but I'm wondering if it's ruining the feng shui of the place. Like on Instagram Live, it was kind of fun. I was kind of, I literally was moving around furniture with you guys, so that was kind of fun. But I'm like, I don't want to get rid of this table, but I understand that it's like really crowded here. This wasn't an idea that Sierra mentioned, but you, a lot of you guys are giving this idea. And I'm gonna ask my mom when she's here, if she can help me. And I wanna see my mom's opinion, because I feel like she's gonna walk in immediately. She's very into feng shui, and she's gonna be like, no. Um, but I really wanna keep this table. So, people were saying I could bring the mirror, which I do like in that corner, but bring the mirror over here, perhaps. And then this table over in that corner and scooch the couch this way and see, I don't know, like have a little nook over there. I don't know. It's just an option, but I'm kind of into it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to ask my mom's opinion when she gets here, but that's kind of my late night thoughts right now. The rods are up, you guys. I'm so happy. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. My mom's here. I realized I didn't vlog her. She got in late last night. We went and got sushi. We went to bed and we woke up. Ryan sweetly came and hung up my two rods for me. And Twice as Organized is on their way right now. I'm so excited. They are an amazing organization company. Um, two Swiss sisters here in New York City. And they're so good. So I like purposely did not unpack my clothes because they'll unpack it and they like put it all in great places and I'm able to keep it in order. So I'm really excited to see what they do. They do my shoes and bags too, which is awesome. It's gonna be a good day. While they're doing that, my mom and I are gonna probably work on the kitchen and just some other things and move things around. Um, and then tonight the dogs play, go dogs. So we're gonna take a quick break tonight go to American Whiskey to watch the game. My mom hasn't experienced the UGA bar, so that'll be really, really fun. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Mom's here. I know, now, come on. See, we have these shelves over here. We're trying to figure out what to do where. In her long hallway. I think we should just, this should be her pantry. She put all her dry. <laughs> She's like, got your canned goods. Welcome yeah. to my apartment. <laughs> I mean, the shelves are perfect for it. jars, you know. It could be very um, Andy Warhol of us. <laughs> Some Campbell's I mean, soup. we could organize them. No, I think definitely um, vases here. We'll go with that okay. at least. <laughs> but yeah, so we're basically, she was like, I put my plates down here and she was like, no, plates That's will not be low. going there. So, so, slowly unpacking, just trying to figure out where everything's going. This is literally a jigsaw puzzle right now, you guys. <laughs> Trying to figure out, I have less storage in my kitchen here, we're realizing. So trying to figure out where everything's going. It's not bad, the shots. Yeah. I have so many shot glasses and I don't know why. Ninja well, shots and fireball. Trying to figure out. That's just incredible. It's gonna smell like coffee too. Hopefully my tea doesn't get too coffee smelling. Oh well. I think ideally in a perfect world I'll get like a little tray or something, but right now, that is incredible. Huge for the program as the kids say. So I realized I have so many vases, so I was like, wait, instead of buying another thing, I used one of these vases and it's perfect. And it looks really good with everything. I love it. All right, Zoe and Michaela are here from Twice is Organized. Things are happening. My literal, like, I don't know what I'd do without you guys, truly. They think of the best things, they're so amazing. And then this room is really coming along. I'm so excited. Um, ah, it looks 
so good. Thank you guys. And then my mom and I are in the kitchen. It's gonna be pretty organized at the end of the day today. Things are things are happening as I like to say. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's what you missed on Glee. No, I'm kidding. So much has happened. I don't think I really vlog because there's just been like so much. Okay, so twice as organized just left Zoe and Michaela. They're literally amazing. They're the kindest people ever. Literally so good. I fully pay them for their services because they are just so worth it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what we've gotten done so far or what they did. I did not do. So the top drawer here. I told them don't worry about touching my delicates. They like do it for you. I was like, I just will never fold these ever, so don't even bother. To reorganize my jewelry. So this is the top drawer. And then, guys, I'm so excited because I have more room here. So this is all workout stuff. And then like workout rompers and stuff. So I have sports bras, tank tops, slash like workout tops, leggings, biker shorts, and then like dresses, rompers, like exercise dresses and stuff. And then down here. I have all of my like tiny tees as I call them and then long sleeves as well whereas last time I don't even know how we did it but we had all of those shirts with these so that is amazing that I have separates there now and they put like these little drawer dividers from Amazon and then all my PJs and my t-shirts seriously just so happy I think it's because I used to have this dresser in my living room so I used this top drawer as like a tech drawer but I'm doing that out there now. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. Ah, this looks so good. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. So these are all my sweat sets. They like color coordinated them so beautifully. Then just sweatshirts. And then down here, more sweatshirts, sweatpants, and then all of my sweaters. And there's room for more sweaters, which is good. All of my pants are here. Um, so I've got jeans, black, they like did it color. I try to keep up with the color coordination, that's hard sometimes, but I do keep up, I feel like, with like this vibe for the most part. Here are all of my non like blazers or thick jackets. These are just like kind of like shackets, denim jackets, leather jackets, vests, that vibe. And then up there they put a box called Summer, which is denim shorts and like cover ups. And then there's all my bathing suits. So looks amazing in here. I'm like seriously so obsessed. And then, this is where things took a turn. All right, <laughs> so, before we get to that, this is just, Sweet Ryan tried to help. I don't think I bought a thick enough rod, and I was just so rushed to get it done because I wanted it before they could get here, and my super couldn't do it till Monday, um, and they wouldn't let the rub it up, as you guys know, it's just like a whole thing. Um, as we were like hanging things up, they, it was holding the clothes actually, I, we, my mom and I, oh my god, I didn't even tell you guys, my mom and I ran to Home Depot, I bought a drill, and literally this sweet man named Jonathan at Home Depot was like, okay, girls, you got this, he's like telling us exactly what to do, because we had to buy this, which I should have bought in the first place, to basically support the middle of the rod, which I'm sure some of you guys are like, I kind of told you that, but, you know, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. So, we were trying to hang up... The middle made too many holes I'm quite I'm so embarrassed about that and then at one point we were just like you know sometimes you just have to get a professional like I was really trying I was like no I can do this but it just wasn't happening and anyways in the meantime while we were trying to hang this up I accidentally leaned on it and it pushed it all down so we were like all right we're just gonna stop we're just I'm just gonna wait till Monday till my super can do it I felt so bad because they have all these clothes they're ready to hang up but they were so nice about it, and it's literally going to get done on Monday. And I think it's also a sign that I need to buy thicker rods. So we're going to go back to Home Depot at some point and say, what can hold the most clothes? And I'll just have my super redo it. I just hope he doesn't judge me for all these holes. Anyways, this is a literal dream. Living my Hannah Montana dream. I'm so, like, just to, like, come... Like, I feel like my outfits are just going to be so much better because I can see everything now. So if there's, like, more, like, fancy shoes, like, I, ones I won't wear as much... Here is like the black section, all my black boots and, well not all my black boots, but most. Then more boots here. They literally took the paper from the moving company and filled in the boots so they stand up perfectly and I'm gonna try and keep up with that because it looks so good. Shoes and then all my bags are here in the middle and then it looks so good. Oh, and then not to mention more shoes in here, like the less pretty shoes, you know, like I told them put like my winter boots and my dirty sneakers in there. They absolutely crushed it. The rods will be different on Monday. 
and I'm really excited. So now just have to bring down all these boxes to the basement. Mom's just helping. And I also wanted to go to Crate and Barrel. My mom extended her flight to Monday, thank God. <laughs> Sometimes you just need your mama. Or someone, yeah. just a family member or a friend or just someone that's down to help you. So thank you. Whew, that's the update. Okay, took the boxes down so we have a nice clear path, which is lovely. We're gonna play around. My mom had the idea to maybe put the table and chairs here. I'm not sure how it's gonna look, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. Never know till you try. It's not terrible. I think for now it's better. For now it's space. better. Yeah. And then when could be fun to try that out at some point. Yeah, no, it's not a Yeah. It's not it, yeah, it's better. I just I don't want it to feel it's not that bad when you walk this way. Cute. This, this, this feels bad. this feels better for now. Well, for now, definitely better than that right Yeah. Now. You're right. Okay. Okay. We like it, we because like it. What do you do mostly on this? I mean, yes, you eat, but like. I like work, and right. then like I look out. So. And if I wanted to watch TV, I can make it happen. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, we're just gonna try one more thing. I'm just dying to see it. This was y'all's recommendation. See what this looks like over there, except the mirror. Well, we can move the mirror there for now. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, guys, we're just. <laughs> Pushing things around. I think I like the table best in the corner. This would need to move a little bit this way. I really loved the mirror in that corner. But, I mean, could get like a piece of artwork or something or another mirror <laughs> to go over there. And we moved the L over here because it was just a lot. I don't know. We're just trying to... I think I like this the best. This is definitely nice. Like, I would like the mirror to be there, but also don't want to bump to the bar stool. But... Yeah, so that's the update. Okay guys, we've been moving things back and forth, but I'm kind of vibing with this now. Once we put the flowers on the table, and since we moved the L here, it's a little bit more um, open over there. I just really like the mirror in the corner. I liked this table over there, but my mom made the point that like, if I'm cooking, I'd have to walk all the way over there to eat and sit if I was sitting at the table. But this is right here, and they look good kind of like tucked. They're not amazing, but like, I want the table. Like, the table's staying, yeah. so it's just kind of like, I'm gonna do an Instagram poll right now. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, it's where the live action happens. But, and then we're keeping the L on this side for now. I'm gonna see, it's very easy to move. I'm curious to see if I tent, like I've been going for that corner more, because you can see out is the only thing, like this way. But, we'll see right now. I was worried it would feel blockage-y, but it's really not. It looks more open over there. It opens up the window more, it's just, I don't know, we'll see. And then, and then, well, no, I guess I shouldn't crowd it anymore, but I was like, I get a bar cart! I'm kidding, no, I've got my shelves over there yeah, for that. I think you put, yeah. Maybe my lanterns could go, I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the other. All right, quick change for the dogs. My mom and I are gonna go get dinner at Spritz and Nomad. I've been there once before, it's really good. And then we're gonna go to the Georgia Bar, watch the Georgia game, and meet up with Ryan and some of my other friends. Here is the fit for the night. I also switched the L back here and I'm happy with it. I don't know if I updated you guys. Top is Revolve. Pants are Julia Haven's collection from Windsor. Boots are Free People. I really like this combo. Jacket is Lamarck via Revolve. Just do my makeup super fast. Hair, I like kind of just judged. Go dog! That was amazing. <laughs> Cheers. Good morning everybody. It's a crisp fall morning. The dogs won last night by not a lot. They're they're in the they're in the dog what's it you're in the dog cage. They're in the crate for a little bit. They're in trouble. We barely won. It was very scary, but it made for a fun night, I will say. We're headed to brunch. We were sitting on the couch drinking our coffee and tea and I was like, it just feels like a brunch morning. Like it's so crisp and cute out. Well, we need to do a West Village brunch, so Praying that the line's not too long, my mom and I are gonna go to Bouvet. Because I've been once before, Leonardo DiCaprio was there, it's just like a vibe. Oh, 
We're getting in. We're getting in. It's pretty early, so kind of. This is the fit. I really like it. This is a vest I just got. It's from the brand Blank NYC. It's from Revolve, but it's like one of the like less expensive brands on Revolve um, in comparison. So definitely check it out. I think it's like a hundred something, but it's like really good quality and it looks so good. I have this long sleeve that I got from Nordstrom BP. They have great basics. Jeans are good American. And then Air Force Ones. My bag is Bob Orr Collection. Everyone always asks, Bob Orr. Kind of looks like the by far. My hair up, no makeup. I just put on a little glow screen. And we're gonna go. You look so cute too, gotta show the fit. Thank you, thank you. Your jeans, American Eagle or something like that. American Eagle jeans. <laughs> And free people. Free people sweater. Love. And my Amazon raincoat that has been the ticket. Love the raincoat. Sure. So and, good. And your cute bag that you got me from Mother's Day, which is the camera bag. The Yay, the Marc Jacobs camera yes. bag. Oh, I just realized I need to bring an umbrella. That's a vibe, kill. Okay. Right. <laughs> some people do umbrellas, some people do rain jackets. Choose your fighter. Well, you, you can wait till the end. We just got back from brunch and we walked around the West Village a little bit. I didn't vlog because it was raining and we were like running from store to store. But we went to Boyar Gifts. Highly suggest they have really cute stuff. We all know I don't drink martinis, at least dirty martinis, but I'm working on it and I will start drinking them. And I thought this was so cute. I had to have it. And I think it literally like just looks like one. I think it'll be cute. Like once I fill up all of my, like with more matches. Oh my God, didn't get them at Bouvet today. Ugh, I gotta get in the habit of it. it takes 21 days to start a habit. <laughs> um, but like that, with when it starts to fill up, I feel like that would be so cute. Okay, you guys, it's time for a haul. I know you guys love this stuff. Um, so we went to Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Depot, and the container store. Very, very fun. The lighting in here is not fab at the moment. It's getting dark. Um, I'm really excited. I want to get something for my bathroom, like just like a bath mat or something. And we saw this one at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's, the, it's called a teak tub mat. And it looks like this. Actually, this is a better photo. Like, look how pretty that is. And it'll tie in. It'll be on the floor in my bathroom. And it'll tie in with all the other wood in my apartment. And I was thinking they didn't have the proper size. But to layer it with, like, a white bath mat rug that's, like, a little bit smaller. So, like, that layered look, you know? I don't know. Just thinking out loud. At Container Store, got a couple of random things. Mom's eating some soup. Good soup. Oh, my in the picture. Not really. Kind of. Doesn't matter. They love you. Um, <laughs> got them. <laughs> got this at the container store I plan on putting in this in one of the cabinets and putting all my supplements in here so like when it's that time of the week when I have to refill all my supplements I just pull it out do, 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 do. easy then I got this instead of having a drying mat I got this and it's an adjustable this is also from the container store adjustable over the sink dish dryer thing I do I'm fortunate enough to have a dishwasher but Sometimes I like to um, like wash pans and stuff, so it'll be nice to just put them on here to let them dry. I got a hat and coat hook. I just got a hook, an over-the-door hook, because I want to put it in my bedroom so I can hang up my Barefoot Dreams robe. So it's very, it's very big. It's hard to kind of like fold up and hide. Also got one of these. My mom says amazing things about them. It's the OXO Good Grips Pop Container. Um, Mainly, like, you can put different types of food, but I always buy rice. I always buy the same type of rice. So I figured I would get one of these and put the rice in, and it keeps it nice and sealed, too, which is way too fun, like, illegally fun. And, yeah, so I just got one just for rice because, like, I'm always buying different pastas and everything, so I don't, I don't know. I'm not that put together yet. My favorite laundry detergent brand, as you guys know, is The Laundress. And they have surface cleaner, and I needed to get surface cleaner anyways, just for like my counter. So I'm trying the Laundress surface cleaner. Oh, and then I wanted to put, this is really niche, but my salt and pepper shakers, like they always get salt and pepper on the counter, and it's a lot harder to wipe off. So I thought, why not put it on this little wooden tray? It's a little bamboo tray I got at the container store. Put my salt and pepper on here so that when it's time to clean it, I just wipe it off. 
um, rather than like having to constantly clean the counters and it's kind of difficult. So from Bed Bath & Beyond, I got these multi-purpose drawer organizers. <laughs> Praying that they're gonna fit. Might have to be returning these um, in my little coffee Keurig cup drawer situation that you guys saw me putting together yesterday. Um, just so I could put like tea bags and stuff and just have more organization. So I just got a, it came in a pack of two. I got this, it's a dish brush holder. I don't really use sponges. So I got this to put my dish brush in. It just kind of like hangs like that. I got a new dish brush because mine was just getting disgusting, but it's the same one I had before. It's also from OXO and I'm just a dish brush girly. My mom found these, they have replacement heads, which is nice. After a while they get dirty. Cause I was like, you're cleaning something with something that's kind of dirty. So after a while you need to clean them. Um, and then I got some icebreakers gum. And then I just want to be that girl that has my olive oil out in this pretty thing. So I'm going to attempt, I mean, could this, I should have gotten a bigger tray. Actually, I think my salt and pepper could fit like just my little, my little area and put my olive oil in here and just go, you know, mm -hmm. Voila. Voila. and that is everything I got. I think I'm going to end the vlog here and start a new vlog tomorrow because I do believe this vlog is very, very long already. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mom, for coming. Mm, so happy to be here. So happy to make it. So thankful. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Subscribe if you're new here. Bye.